Assalamu alaikum dear students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. This is Muhammad Ali Sharkar and I am here to take my 6th class on chapter 2. In this class, I am going to discuss about factorization of cyclic polynomial. Resolve into factors of cyclic polynomials for the variable a, b, c. We know from my previous class that cyclic polynomial has exactly three variables. To factorize cyclic polynomial easily, you have to follow these three rules. First, if a minus b be the factor of a cyclic polynomial, then b minus c and c minus a will also be the factor of that polynomial. Okay. Second, k into a plus b plus c is a cyclic polynomial of degree 1. And k into a square plus b square plus c square plus m into a b plus b c plus c a is the cyclic polynomial of degree 2. These two are the homogeneous and cyclic polynomial of degree 1 and 2, where k and m are constant. 3. If the values of two polynomials are equal for all values of the variables, the coefficient of the corresponding two terms of the polynomial will be equal. Clear? This point is needed to solve partial fraction problem. Now, let's see an example. Example 15. Resolve into factors BC into B minus C plus CA into C minus A plus a b into a minus b is a cyclic polynomial of degree 3. Okay. Assuming the expression as a polynomial of single variable, we determine one or more than one factor of by factor theorems. For this, considering the given expression as a polynomial of a and let p of a equal to this. Now, place B for A, we get this equal to 0. Therefore, A minus B is a factor of the given expression. And from rule 1, if A minus B is a factor of the cyclic polynomial, then other two factors will be B minus C and C minus A. Okay. So, therefore, we write this equal to K into A minus B into b minus c into c minus a okay where k is constant and this marks this equation as one and one is true for all values of a b c now put a equal to zero b equal to one c equal to two in this equation one then you get the values of k the values of k is minus one okay Therefore, the factorization of this expression is minus a minus b into b minus c into c minus a. Okay, clear. I hope it is. Now, example 16. Resolve into factors a cube into b minus c plus b cube into c minus a plus c cube into a minus b. This is also a cyclic polynomial of degree 4. So, similar from previous one first considering the given expression as a polynomial of single variable let p of a in a and substitute b in plus of a we get p of b and p of b equal to zero therefore a minus b is a factor of uh, this expression from the factor theorem as it is cyclic polynomial, 
both b minus c and c minus a are also factors of this uh, given for expression okay so factorization uh, of this expression is k into a minus b into b minus c into c minus a three factors but degree of this polynomial is uh, four that's why uh, factors will be four we get three factors a, a minus b b minus c and c minus a so other factor will be a cyclic polynomial of degree one we know cyclic polynomial of degree one is a plus b plus c okay now putting the values of a b c we get the value of k and this is the factorization form of this expression clear like this now example 17 factorize b plus c into c plus a into a plus b plus a b c this is also cyclic polynomial of degree 3 now considering similar considering p of a equal to this expression and placing b minus b minus c in place of a we get 0 then a plus b plus c is a factor of this expression okay given expression is a cyclic homogeneous polynomial of degree 3 and we get a factor a cyclic polynomial of degree 1 so uh, other factor will be cyclic polynomial of degree 2 and we know from rules 2 that cyclic polynomial polynomial of degree 2 is k into a square plus b square plus c square plus m into bc plus ca plus ab therefore you can write b plus c into c plus a into a plus b plus abc equal to a plus b plus c into k into a square plus b square plus c square plus m into bc plus ca plus ab and mark this equation one this one is true for all values of abc we can place a values of a equal to zero b equal to zero c equal to one etc any value we can put any value of abc okay now putting now putting n1 first a equal to 0 b equal to 0 and c equal to 1 then you get the values of k equal to 0 and then putting a equal to 1 b equal to 1 c equal to 0 and k equal to 0 in 1 then you get values of m equal to 1 2 equal to 2 into m so, so values of m equal to 1 and putting the values of k and m we get the factorize we get the factors of this expression therefore this expression equal to a plus b plus c into bc plus ca plus ab clear this is all for today thank you